Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I found um, some uh, an interview that Elaine Thompson here did after she ran that 1089 at Mount Sac. And she looks ready as ever. And, um, you, know, she, you know, she just pretty much just gearing up, taking things in stride, not trying to burn herself out and, and, and kind of take things in progression, which is good to do, you know. As, you know, you don't, you don't want to overwork yourself and risk injury. And I think she's just trying to be mindful of how she's preparing and at the same time seeing where she's at and what she needs to do for the big event. But anyway, check it out. This is a flow truck interview. Uh, it's an audio clip that I was able to, to put together so you can listen to her. But I also put the link of the interview in the in the uh, description box so y'all can, you know, see it for yourself if y'all, some of y'all like to see videos. So you can check it out. So that's it. All right, here with Elaine Thompson, hurrah, 1089 in the prelim. Didn't run in the final, but uh, a great opener here for you at the Golden Games Mount Sac Relays. Tell us how you felt about it and uh, maybe why you didn't run the final. You know, it feels good to be back. It's my first time competing here at the Golden Sac Relays. I just decided to do one and one, you know. It's my season opener, and it feels good to be back. It was great out there in 1089, so yes, I'm happy. Obviously, some great competition, some windy times as well, but uh, your compatriot, Brandon Williams, uh, the windy 1090, uh, what do you see as you know you're still in the prime of your career your current uh, <laughs> you got to fly there uh, just the Jamaican dominance so far in the sprints and then kind of the next generation well because of our, our culture you know we have our boys and girls championship curve the game is going on right now in Jamaica and we have a lot of athletes that have done so much amazing performance over the weekend last week of our boys and girls championship so doing that and what we are doing from here on our performance I know they are watching they want to put their name, they want to push their career in athletics and because of our standard that we're setting for them and examples, I think that empowers them to, you know, motivate them to be where they want to be and to work on their dreams and their aspirations. What can we expect from you this year? Uh, can you tell us where you're going to be running next, the 100, the 200, what's kind of next for you as we progress? Well, I'm heading back home to, tonight. I don't know where I'm going to compete, probably in Jamaica. But my aim this year, of course, stay healthy. You know, Eugene is the World Championship this year. It's closer to home. I have no titles in those championships. Maybe 200 meter invitation, please come in for hippie. So my target is to go for hippie. Both double in 100 and 200. I'm just trying to stay healthy, get in the races, and just have fun. Well, and that's what I was going to ask. You mentioned it, but not many things missing from your uh, your trophy collection, but that World Championship gold is one of those things. You are going to be doubling. Is that the plan? Yes, I'm doubling this year because I wanted to try to achieve a title in both and It's going to be a three epic season. This year's World Championship, next year's World Championship, and the Olympic Games, you know. So I'm trying to get in as much as I can, you know. There is no longer young anymore, so I'm just trying to get as much as titles as, as I can before I walk away from this well, we talked about the, the younger generation. How about the generation before? Obviously, the Merlene Audis, uh, uh, Baraka uh, Campbell-Brown, and even Chilly Ann Frazier-Price, a step ahead of you. She's still right on your heels there as well. Uh, but how much does that mean to kind of carry that flag on? It means a lot to me because when I was younger, I was watching those girls. I wanted to be like them, you know. So I just tried to work on my dreams. My dream was to make my own team, and I had made that twice. So watching them bringing that barrier, setting that barrier, raising that flag, and for me as a younger person coming behind them, pulling their footsteps, I'm really honored and pleased to do that. Well, you're inspiring a lot of people in Jamaica and around the world as well. So Thank best you. of luck this season. Thanks. Thank